Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a very windy day here on the Freedom Farm because, well, wind is inevitable when you have hurricanes. And I forgot to put any uh, some food out from my poor pets. Hold on. No, I need to... I need to throw you to show you my love. Please, let me show you my love by throwing you away from your food. I... So before we do anything else, uh, I want to rush on over to the manufacturing windmill, please, and uh, get our watering can started. And my hope is that today we will be able to upgrade it two levels. Right now it's at two star, and hopefully we will be able to get it to two, three. And... It'll be done in about six hours. Which is very good, because that means that if we get over there fairly soon after it's done, then we can upgrade it again and pick it up tonight. Technically, we could then get it going again, but going from three to three and a half stars is not all that important. Our pineapples are done. I think this will be the last pineapple harvest of the season. And it's a tough decision on whether or not we should continue to fertilize and water them just in case that's not the just in case that's not true. I'm pretty sure we're going to have one more corn harvest and at least one more tomato harvest, possibly two. But as far as pineapples go, I'm almost positive that there's not going to be another one. But we're going to go ahead and put fertilizer on it and water it just in case I'm wrong. Tomorrow is the bazaar, and you are going to see just how valuable these pineapples are. We also want to go and get the radishes, the radish seeds rather. And we're going to be planting those today. And I'm going to turn more radishes into seeds. And we're going to also be planting those today. We only really need to turn four radishes into seeds in order to plant three rows. But we're going to go ahead and go with the rest as well. And we're going to do it four at a time. Just to make sure that they're done before the end of the day. I mean, they should be. It is a hurricane after all. We're down to, what, a third of the time? So it should be eight hours? Let's see. Yep, eight hours. Do I know my timings or do I know my timings? Alright, but we are still going to do this. Mostly for the benefit of the peach tree seeds and the wheat seeds. Because, boy, are they taking a while. Yeah. If it was a hurricane every single day, it would take almost two weeks for those, uh, for those wheat seeds to be done. Well, now that we've got the immediate stuff that we needed to get done out of the way... Uh, I can tell you what we're going to do this episode, and aside from the bazaar that's happening tomorrow, and, uh, um, well, the hurricane that's happening today, there's also going to be a horse race on... Is it Sunday or Monday? I really hope one of our sheep didn't escape. Seriously, where's the other sheep? There should be one more sheared sheep here. Well, Glaceon seems pretty stressed, so pretty sure Glaceon's out here somewhere. Don't know where. How? How did you get out here? First of all, you're happy in a hurricane. Yeah, you're definitely Glaceon. Second of all, seriously, how did you get out here? Not only how did you get outside, but how did you get out here? I, I, I just, I am... It, it boggles the mind. Clacyon, you absolute lunatic. Just get back inside. Gosh. What in the world? Glaceon! It's always Glaceon. See, this is the thing, right? Is that I have actually checked. And 
I've had some sheep escape a couple of times off camera while I was testing stuff, and it's always Glaceon. And the last time there was a hurricane, it was I, I, I tested some stuff, and sure enough, Glaceon went out, got outside. The worst evolution. You know, that's something that I hear a lot about in uh, um from like people that actually have shepherded sheep. Not people that, you know, keep sheep as pets and tell themselves, oh yeah, I'm a shepherd of one sheep. Oh, our sheep is so smart. They will tell you that sheep are really, really dumb. And it's like they are trying to get themselves killed. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and ignore our chickens for today just because we do not have the time for this. So I just checked and confirmed that the horse racing day is in fact on Sunday. And let us show off this new hoe. Look at all this unhoed space. I'm not gonna be able to show it all off, like show it off completely, but uh, you're gonna see something special. Or not. Yeah, the hurricane, a uh, little bit of a difficulty, but basically, if this row wasn't hoed, it would have been. So, you can hoe one entire row, or if you jump, you can hoe three. That will save us time at the start of every season. And isn't that nice? All of these radishes should be done uh, before the end of the season. And that will not only give us some nice stuff to sell, um, but it will also allow us to turn quite a bit of it into radish seeds. So that we will always have plenty of five-star radish seeds. All done with work for the day? Oh well, yeah, pretty much. No, I still... Actually, no, I still need to fertilize my plants. Good evening, eh? It's a bit late to be wandering about. And yet, you're still open with nothing new for me, huh? Yeah. So we'll just have some tea. I see. Please come again. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Jasmine tea, just fantastic. Good evening, Ray. You should get home before it gets too dark. It's already dark. There are massive clouds overhead. Swirling in a circle, pouring the heavens down upon us. It is dark, and darkness shall remain. And now, I will get to show off the power of this watering can. Make sure it's all nice and full. And you see all this? You see those six rows, unwatered? And boom. All six, row, all six rows watered in one sweep. How about that? Also, this is, what, this is what the pattern looks like when you jump. Which is, I mean, not terribly convenient because 5x5, five five, there isn't a whole lot of use for that. I just think it's better to use the watering can standing. I mean, obviously, 25 spaces is more than 6, but it just doesn't work very well. Please don't go in the river. Please don't go in the river. No. Look, it's a rock, okay? There, there are rocks in the river. It's fine. Everything is fine. Nobody will be mad. There's nobody even here. I'm sure. And then, pineapples. 3,840 each. That's nuts. Oh, and the great mayonnaise. 2,730. I believe I said 2,730. Just, you know, don't mind me sitting here with all my exceptional math skills. Mayonnaise! Where tea? Yarn! I, I'm so hungry I can barely move. 
I think I'm going to pass out. Take one of my items. <laughs> really? Then I'll take one of these eggs. Thank you, I'll sell it and buy myself some food. Or you could just eat the egg. Ask the the peep. There are two cafes. You could ask them to just like boil it real quick or fry it or something like that. Did you come to a bazaar without money? Is that is that the problem? Le what? I I did not see that. Oh no. That's not good. I don't think that actually hurts our reputation, but I did not see that person there. Whoopsies. Wish I'm an airplane. Stop, that's dangerous. Oh, that looks like that. Stop, that's dangerous. Aw, my mom tells me that all the time too. I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Come on. Sorry. Mommy, Daddy, where are you? <sighs> are you lost? I'll help you find them. Really? Thank you. Hey, it's my mommy. Thanks. And no time whatsoever was lost. Isn't that nice? Don't... Yeah, we, we're definitely not going to be able to level up the bazaar this time around. I think we were... At this point, probably around 80,000 short. Based on our current sales numbers and, you know, for this bazaar and for our prior sales, but uh, it's gonna be fairly close and we're gonna probably ha be guaranteed to level up the bazaar next time. Hmm, do I have enough for this egg? How about for half price? You can have it for free. What? That's awesome! You're awesome! Thanks a bunch! It's a shame you can't like put stuff on sale as like cheaper when you're worried that you're not going to be able to sell everything. You have a lot of things on sale. Do you like running a stall at the bazaar? Yeah, it's fun. No, it's not very fun. Why don't you open a stall? I'd love to say, why don't you open a stall? But I think I need to say the, the yeah, it's fun. Because I think that gets you the most reputation. I see. You really work hard at everything you do. I don't hate that about you. Yeah, but... You can't love that about me. Because that's not allowed. I'm getting married. In, uh... What? Three days? Four days. I know how days of the week work. Yes, sir, indeed. Eggs! Small coins! Oh, sorry to bother you. Do you know where the carpenter is located? It's on the right side. It's... You just look to the right. This is why you don't forget to put things like the small coins out from the start. Okay. We done! As we met the goal and more. And oil! Nice! We're gonna get 30 this time. Thank you very much. I appreciate your patronage. I also would like to upgrade our bazaar stall, this bazaar. And I also want to get some pineapple seeds. I think we're probably going to need about five of them. So yeah, they're 1400 per pineapple seed, but as you can tell, it's very much worth it. Did I say four? I meant five. And we're going to see if Lloyd... Well, we're going to see if Lloyd has any silver on sale. Yes, he does. Um... I want to buy, like, mm, a lot of these, but I can't really afford a lot of these. You know, we're going to come back. Oops. We're going to come back and, uh, um, because we're going to see how much money we have, and then we're just going to spend quite a bit of it on silver. Oh, hello. Welcome to my food stand. Tempura soba. Nice. Thanks. I'll throw in the recipe for you, too. Oh, I see. Well, stop by anytime you're hungry. And the wrapping stall for Claire's gift. Claire wears a lot of yellow, right? So, we'll go ahead and get her gift wrapped in yellow. 
her corn soup, which is already yellow, wrapped in a yellow wrapping paper. Sure, why not? I'm sure she will. And the reason why I'm sure is because I tested it. I gave her some corn soup, and she loved it. So, yeah. Welcome to Fantastic Furniture. I will introduce you to the perfect furniture for you. It seems there's nothing I can do for you right now. Come back later, and I'll let you know if I have something for you. So, no. Apparently we can't. We can't get that until we're actually married. We are going to expand our storage because we are having inventory issues. And I think we can do one more after this. Have everything done by tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. Glad you came. Welcome to Ganon's carpentry. I would like to make our stall bigger. You make your stall bigger, you can sell more items. It'll cost 60,000 G. 60,000 G, okay? It's not so much that you can sell more items, it's that you can have more items out on display. A little misleading, Mr. Gannon, sir. Onion soup? Sure, why not? 720 G, okay. Thank you, I'll teach you the recipe as well. But I think for today, we are going to try that uh, tempura soba. That sounds good. Bowl of soba noodles topped with tempura. Oof. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Thank you, Claire. And thank you, Joan, for the tea. It was a group effort. All right. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune read? It's just 100 G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? Your lucky color is black. You should express your individuality. Well, I'm wearing black right now. So, did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back anytime. In fact, I wear black pretty much every day, so... I don't know. Welcome to Lucky Lotto, care to play? One ticket is 300G. Okay, let's see how many we win. And what we win. Second place prize. Curry powder. Okay. And nothing. So that's three now where we, we've got one curry powder and two losers. And, ooh. Second place again, white bread crumbs. Okay. Not great winnings, but one more. And we can see, maybe we'll get at the grand prize? No, we got nothing, okay. White bread crumbs and curry powder. Well, worth. Hello there, welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100G okay? Well, this is just a rumor, really. Everyone in town loves the river. Have you ever tossed trash into the river? You told me this last week. You told me this last week. Is it because is it because of that rock? Listen, that was an accident and also it's a rock. Okay. Uh Yeah, I guess we'll be getting three silver. We should be fine. We should be fine. We'll see. Hey, did someone named Lucy come by here earlier? Crying by the animal shop? Oh, she was crying? Honestly, what would she do without me? Well, I'll head over to the animal shop then. I think we might have won on reputation too. Isn't that nice? So we managed to sell off our curry powder and we'll, man we'll be able to sell off our ripe white breadcrumbs, but uh, just remember kids, gambling, doesn't pay. <gasps> hey, it's the return of the gold. Have we gotten any of those since the start of year two? I don't think we have. I'm gonna actually have to go back through uh, through a lot of episodes and see when the last time we got a gold was. But we're not going to be selling that at this week's bazaar. We're gonna be keeping those. We're gonna be keeping those first for uh, jewelry in case we get any more amethysts or things like that. And we are also going to be keeping those for year four when we get the long fishing rod. Because it requires gold! Which is also why we picked up some silvers for the medium fishing rod, but my goodness is that expensive. 
Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 69,000G! Roll! Congratulations! Nice job, Roll. In second place with 80,000G! Jones Store! Congratulations! And in first place with 157,460G! Ray! Congratulations! Yeah, I know. It's great. Keep up the good work. You keep making those fantastic dishes. And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! Customers say that they can tell you really care about your job! <laughs> You've all done the town proud! Keep up the good work! Hmm? You're in the top three and you have the best reputation! Fantastic! I'm awarding you this prize for your efforts! A sushi! Nice! A goal to be the best bazaar on the continent is now one step away! We're so close! Let's do it! Our goal for the next bazaar is 80,000 to 100,000 G! We can do it! Well, that's all for now! Start getting ready for the next bazaar! I don't remember how far away we were from uh, getting to 75% with the last couple of videos, but I think we're a about what? Either thirty thousand, somewhere around thirty thousand to forty thousand short, if I remember correctly. And uh, so we are basically guaranteed to get there the next bazaar. So that'll be nice. And in the bazaar after that, I can show off the seventy-five percent bazaar, which is basically the bazaar at its at its biggest. Uh, technically speaking, it does go up to 100%, obviously. But no new shops get added. In fact, the only thing that changes, as far as I'm aware, is that the Lucky Lotto has different prizes. Better prizes. Lucky Lotto at 75% has better prizes than it has at 50%, and at 100%, it has better prizes than at 75%. It's the horse race! Are you entering? Yes. Great! Let's get started! Hello everybody! Welcome to the horse race! Here are the entrants! Number one, Ray! Number two, Bugsy! I know Bugsy raced horses. As long as we don't have to fight a Scyther. I'm good. Number three, Marty! Ooh, with a silver steed. Nice. I mean, he wins on style points alone, I'm telling you that. They'll all be competing for the fastest time! Let the race begin! Well... We're probably not going to win, even if we manage to not screw up any of the hurdles. Um, just because our horse, I think, is at three hearts of friendship, which um, is which would not be enough to win. Not be fast enough, that is. Oh boy. But we can still have a pretty nice time, can't we? 
fantastic! That's the end of the race! Here are the times! Ray, 31.31 seconds! Bugsy, 32.25 seconds! Marty, 27.03 seconds! So the results are third place Bugsy, second place Ray, and the winner is Marty! Congratulations! So, like I said, didn't have much of a chance, but there's always next year. Plus, we got second, which is honestly better than I thought we would get. What a race! You all did great! I hope to see you all at next year's race! And I hope to win next year's race. Keep your chin up, Ray! Maybe next time! Don't let it get you down. Huh. It's fine. I think there are, I think we actually got up to four hearts of friendship with red hair now. I think you get friendship from getting second place. I don't know how much, but we're either up at to four or five hearts now, because as you may have noticed, red hair is following us everywhere and is singing whenever it's near us. We can check with the, uh, with the stethoscope to see the changed dialogue. It sees you as its owner. If I saw someone as my owner, I wouldn't be following them around all over the place, I'll tell you that. Let's see where where red hair is at. Five hearts. So I think we skipped right past four. I think we got to four this morning and then got probably around a hundred friendship points for getting second place. Something like that. I don't know if we get friendship points with any of the villagers for getting second though. I know you get friendship points with the villagers for winning festivals. Not sure about getting second. Well, I think I'm going to have to call it there for the episode today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the rest of your day is a great one. And I will see you later. Bye.